take my inspiration more from just the everyday, hour to hour habitat around me. I know growing up in Brooklyn and Manhattan, I borrowed so much from very ordinary architecture. Scaffoldings and cranes and fire hydrants and mailboxes and gutters and sewers and manhole covers, all those things that were just around me. And like, I don't know, maybe it was like just this osmotic taking in of the environment. And But I could see it come out in my work. It was just a rehash of like the plain old stuff around me, I think. I would say my process starts when I'm lying in bed at night, falling asleep. I start to um, visualize objects, like my next piece, and they're all narrative. Some event will just sear into my memory, visually, and I lie there and I think, I sort of recap that event and think about how I would translate it sculpturally. And I work it out, engineer the whole thing, and then I get really anxious to get it done. And I'm pretty much just making what I already, or fabricating what I've made in my head completely. I'm not even like watching what I'm doing. It's just, I have, just have to get it out and follow the blueprint that I've developed in my head as closely as I can. And of course, that whole journey of trying to get down what I think I want. There are wrong turns and there are accidents, there's serendipitous events, you know, and then you end up with something, a mix of all these things. Just about all the materials I work with um, come from out there in the public realm. You know, they're just offered up by people <laughs> maybe unwittingly, for me to pick up. I'd say at all times I am on high alert for something I can use, whether it's riding my bike down the street or driving somewhere, walking somewhere. Everyone's garbage, every beach, every little patch of woods, every vacant lot holds great potential. My work is full of my family. I spend so much, just the sheer amount of time, I am within three feet of my wife and two kids. You know, it would have to come out. I, I think I also use them sort of as a well to go to when I'm fishing for ideas. I think if I, my sole concern was making an object that was um, uh, structurally pleasing, I would tire of that very quickly. And I think the work, to me at least, would be less rich because I care about symmetry and good composition and um, pleasing proportions, but that's not enough. That's nothing. Um, I care about my daughter and if I can think I'm making a piece about my daughter, I'm completely invested in it. Um, and that just spurs you on to work harder, better. Yeah.